A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, You shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, Whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever says to his brother, Rakha, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin, and whoever says, You fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord Your Righteousness Surpasses when Jesus speaks of surpassing the virtues of the scribes and the Pharisees, he does not deny the good intention and the obedience of these people. Nor does Jesus mean that the disciples must be more zealous than the Pharisees, outdoing them in observing the laws and the commandments. What Jesus teaches is to view the law with a new heart, with a new righteousness that does not start with human beings, but with God. In fact, before a person can speak of any righteous act, he must speak of God's righteousness. This refers not to God's ability to render a person his or her due or judgment, but to his saving will and action. The righteousness of the disciples will surpass that of the scribes and the Pharisees because they are given new heart that makes it possible for them to do God's will. Is religion for us a matter of piling up good works so that at the end we may expect reward from God? Isn't it rather a personal relationship with the Lord? A matter of the heart in love with God and neighbor? A love which translates into action?